Hi everybody, we haven't done one of these in a little while. We're gonna do an unboxing. So today we're gonna unbox a pair of bespoke shoes I ordered a while back. Um, they are a pair of, as you can see on the order sheet, a pair of long wing full brogue darbies. And you know what, the long wing full brogue darby is not something you see all that often. Uh, my colleague Jan ordered one from himself years ago, and I just thought it was such a beautiful shoe. So I had to get one for myself too. So there we go, opening that beautiful Fukuda box. A pair of extra laces. Nicely packed so this thing doesn't get damaged. Oh, I'm excited. And there you go. So long wing full brogue derby, long wing refers to this, to that long line that is also a wing tip. And derby refers to this, so the fact that the lacing is open here and it's got two open quarters like this, because if this was closed, this would be in Oxford. And full brogue refers to the fact that it's punched fully everywhere. So on the, on the toe, on the wing, and even on the quarters as well. All right. Um, in terms of sole, I did half rubber with a beveled waist and with a rubber heel as well. Uh, and I also did steel toe taps. Uh, I know some people really go for like those really fine, beautiful, like fiddle waist soles um, with a lot of treatment to them. But I, I mean, the minute you wear them, you kind of ruin them. Whereas with rubber soles, you can wear them in the rain, they're pretty resilient, they're grippier, which is nice, because Hong Kong has a lot of slopes. Uh, and so these days I put rubber soles, especially half rubber soles, on just about everything. The nice thing about half rubber sole as opposed to a full rubber sole is that at least you still get to see a little bit of the waist work, which is nice. Like the loafers I'm wearing right now are Fukuda Bespokes as well. And you know, this is what they look like after a pretty decent amount of use. All right. Let's try these bad boys on. Now that I think about it, I should have unlaced it before I pulled the, uh, before I pulled the shoe tree out. Um, this is on my bespoke last. And you might notice that my bespoke last is very spade shaped. You know, I like having a lot of space in the toes. Um, I prefer comfort at the expense of, you know, a sleek looking shoe. Uh, but I think that <clears throat> once you have this on the foot, it should look quite a bit more elegant than you might expect. Alrighty. Where's my shoe horn? There it is. Ooh, that's nice. So you know what's interesting? Like I was mentioning just now, the shoe looked a little wide at first, but once you actually put your foot in, because it's pulling the entire upper upwards, you know, because suddenly you're, the, the shoe has a lot more volume in it, it actually ends up looking much sleeker than you might expect. I think the proportions of this shoe are also really interesting. Um, they're a little unusual in that you might, some might expect the wing to come down a little bit further, but actually given the width of the shoe at the toes for my personal last, I think that this balance of proportions actually makes a lot of sense. You know, cause if you imagine this came up further, the toe would actually look too small instead. Man, these feel great. All right. I asked for this with a normal welt rather than a wide welt. I think if I wanted to make a really sporty shoe, I could have asked for an even wider welt, but I quite like it like this too. Still, maybe one day it might be nice to do a wide welt, some sort of wide welt derby. With the wing though, I feel like this could work just as nicely, you know, with casual suit or sport coat and trousers um, as it might do with jeans. All right, so there we go. 
I am very pleased with my Yohei Fukuda bespoke long wing darbies. And um, I would love to hear from you guys on what you think. And if you ever might order a pair of these for yourself. That's it for now and thanks for watching.